The next filter that we're going to take a look at is the audio distortion filter. And really, all this does is distort your audio. It has only one property, which is distortion factor. You have to be a little careful with it because it does affect the overall volume of your sound. It will crank it up. And setting your distortion value, I'm just going to say this in advance, setting this all the way up to one can really blow out your speakers and startle you if you're not ready for it. So uh, just be aware of that. Now, this filter, it's uh, pro only, as are all of the filters, and can be applied directly to an audio source, or it can be applied to a listener if you want to make sure that all of your incoming sounds get distorted. So, with that out of the way, let's take a look at applying this. Now, I'm going to put Chopin back on the radio, so under my audio, I've imported a quick MP3 file of Nocturne 9 from uh, by Chopin that I grabbed from MuseOpen.com. And so now, if I was to hit play, and I'm assuming you've already heard this, but if you haven't, we just have some nice piano music. So, let's go to Component and drop down to Audio and put on the Distortion Filter. And it only has one property, distortion level. I think I called it distortion factor a minute ago, but I mean, it's the same thing, really. Now, by default, this is set to 0.5, and if we hit play, you can already hear that our sound is a little bit messy. Now, we can control this. Let me pull down the volume so you can hear me just a little bit better. We can control how much distortion is there by increasing the distortion level. But you'll notice, even though I've turned my sound down to one point or 0.12, as I increase the distortion level, the sound is going to get louder. So there's at 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and it gets progressively louder and louder. I would advise you against using your slider, uh, because it will just turn into feedback once it hits one. And what I'm going to do is pull my volume down really low. In fact, that might even be too high. Let's just try 0 .001. So you're barely going to be able to hear it, if at all. And I'll set my distortion level to 1. And you see how delicate that gets. If you have a volume higher than, say, 0 .001, and really you should probably go even lower than that, like 0 .0001. But if you go any higher, really it just turns into nasty feedback grossness that is very, very difficult to work with. So watch out for having a distortion level all the way at went 1. So what I'm going to do is set this to about 0.95, and then I'll very carefully play with my volume. So we can hear that. Now... If you want, you can combine this with other filters, which is not something that I will do a whole lot in these videos, but just uh, just for this particular sake, because the whole idea here for distortion is to make your audio sound nastier, like it's coming from a low-quality broadcast of some sort. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, I think it goes really well with a high-pass filter. So if we go to Component, jump down to Audio, and drop on a high-pass filter, and set this to something like uh, anywhere from two to 5,000. Let's just try 2,500 and unpause. And now it sounds like we have this really old, nasty radio that's playing this. So it'd be really spooky to hear this in a, a survival horror game. And that's all there is to it. It's just a, a quick filter that applies a certain amount of distortion. Again, it does affect volume, so watch out when applying it to a full volume sound, especially if you're approaching a distortion level of one, because you will blow your player away and hurt their ears if you're really not careful. But that will wrap things up for this video. Thank you for watching.